a lot of anger in farm country about this. And when I asked Mr. Giddens uh, this question, did someone somewhere within MF Global know exactly what they were doing and if so willfully move the money out of these segregated accounts, the answer was yes. Uh, a later question by one of the other senators indicated that that also obviously involved the person at the top, i.e. Mr. Corzine. Uh, Senator Johans followed up and indicated, uh, does that mean that uh, he is guilty um, of that um, willful movement of the money. You were hesitant to say that. I understand that. Uh, but certainly, I don't want to parse words, but it seems to me that uh, he was at least uh, complicit and culpable, which leads me to the question of Ms. Summers. I know that um, you can't answer the question that farmers and ranchers are asking me and probably asking you as well. Now, why isn't he in court? But my question to you is, is the Department of Justice working with you on this investigation to your satisfaction to bring forward criminal charges against those who should be held accountable? Senator, we've been working with other authorities since the beginning. And just to point out again that a, a willful violation of the Commodity Exchange Act is a federal crime. So if that if there is evidence to indicate that, that would be something that a U.S. attorney would be able to pursue. Uh, from our side of this investigation, I think we would never <coughs> want to risk a successful outcome until we're, we're able to review all of the facts and circumstances of this case to be able to bring a possible case against an entity or a person who may have violated the Commodity Exchange. But 